All right, some of you guys want to know what kind of things you can do to your car hauler for snowmobiling. Well, here's a few things I have done. Uh, it's a 8 by 24 foot. Got a tandem axle on there, so uh, it'll haul a car with it. It's got the heavy duty axle. In the front, I've added two propane tanks from the RV center. Get the mount. Hold it down to the uh, frame there and put the cover on so that way it can uh, have some propane heat in here. I have four solar panels from Harbor Freight. Probably can't see or you can, but they got the little blue light on, so they're charging right now. They take uh, sun all day long and keep my batteries inside up to par. Uh, I get all my energy from God. It's free, so why not use it? I don't need to be hooked up to anything. Underneath the baggie is a small camera. I can see what's going on outside in the trailer while I'm in there. That's a solar panel motion detection light. So once I turn it on, anybody that walks by my door at night, the light will come on and show me who's outside. There's also a strip light underneath the edge in there kind of keep it out of the weather so there's a light switch inside to turn the door light on I also have a, another camera up there so I can see when I stay in here at night all my sleds are outside on the ground I can see the uh, sleds while I'm in the trailer there's a camera so I can see my truck and trailer when I pass you on the highway if I'm gonna pit maneuver you and throw you into the ditch or not Again, there's two more sets of lights up there, so when I'm loading and unloading, I can turn them lights on and the ramp will light up. There's another one of them solar paneled motion detection lights. That's out here. So with lights and cameras inside, if anybody plays with my snowmobile while I'm outside, while they're outside, I should say, I see you on the camera because the light comes on, so I come out to find out what you're doing to my sleds. The other thing you got to think of is the bottom of the trailer is nothing but an open frame underneath there. And uh, the wind blows underneath there and sucks all the heat out of the trailer at night. So what I did was grab the corrugated board, like cardboard, and I cut sheets of it and did big fender washers. And I put like two inch foam underneath there. There's the exhaust for the diesel heater, but I got uh, all the uh, bottom of the trailers completely covered. Helps with the wind resistance and keeps all that cold air from sucking my heat out of the inside of this trailer. This trailer also has a onboard GPS, so when you feel like stealing it, I know exactly where it's at all the time. So you're not going to steal my trailer and have all my sleds for free. But, entry door, ceiling lights for loading, and the lift gate in the back. Everybody's got their own switch. You gotta have your maps on your doors. If nobody ever has seen this, look up a sledder's morning or just pause the video right now. all done that already been there smoke detector carbon monoxide snow brush up above the door why because uh, if I'm sitting somewhere and we got a foot of snow on the top I'm not leaving and having a foot of snow up on top hooks for all my uh, keys you gotta have your pictures just remember life is not measured by the number of breaths we take but by the moments to take your breath away. <laughs> Snowmobiling, imagine that. So anyway, back to the trailer. Full cupboards, countertops, vinos. Build it all out of two by threes, not two by fours. It's not a damn house, I don't need it that damn solid. Rehab doors from the rehab center. When they scrap out a house, they got stuff left over. I think I paid like six bucks or something for the bottom and maybe uh, five bucks for the top. Two different stores I went to. 
pan up there to make the heat motion around. I got a propane hot water heater and a 20,000 BTU heater with the propane tanks on the nose. I know you heard me say diesel heater. I'm not going to be a without heat. I got I got to have two sources of heat. So I'm making sure nothing goes wrong. It's one of those uh, water tanks that you can buy at the uh, Quality Farm and Fleet. You get a little 12 volt motor on them already. Run them right off your battery. Plug it in. And I fill it up with water. My trailer's warm uh, when I park, so then I fill it up. And while I'm here, I got uh, water to wash the dishes with or do whatever I need to do. Got plumbing in there. You got to have some uh, orange ball valves there so you can drain the water out and not leave water in the system to freeze. Get some of these little little baskets are for your bathroom, I'd assume. But uh, I buy them and put all my gunk and my fluids in there. I wasted space on the wall. I might as well use it to hold something. Full plumbing. Kitchen sink. Little little uh, bar sink is all it was. You got the uh, lights that came with the RV trailers. There's one there. I got another one up here. Another one way in the back. Forks and spoons. Got to have some place to uh, put all your spatulas. Piece of PVC pipe. Works great for all that mess. Paper towel. Got everything we need. Toaster. Microwave. Burner stoves. <coughs> and I got the percolator pot. And I have the one with the K-cup. So it don't matter whichever way you want to go. I have a diesel heater in here. You all ain't seen one of them. Gotta get one of those. Has a gallon of diesel fuel into the tank. And it'll run like... Eight hours off of a gallon of diesel fuel. My wife plumbed it out of my cupboard door and along the floor and put tea drops in it so it drops out heat down through there. But in the back of it, it's got a three inch inlet hole, so I utilize the house vent and I made a box around the floor real low in the cupboard. <coughs> it's like that, it's all boxed in. So when that furnace comes on, I want it to suck the cold air off the floor because heat rises. So cool down the hot air. Wait a minute. Warm up the cold air, not the backwards, I just said. So you got the diesel heat blowing out of about 250, 350 degrees of heat, so it's warm. You can kind of get a little warm and bend your piping if you can see that. Need some more hangers because the plastic gets a little soft in the heat. But you go up for the ball valve here. The first two sets, that's what you put your uh, your boots on. So if your uh, boots are wet, you just throw your shoes up there. Throw your gloves up on the small ones up on the top. So there's uh, one, two, three, four guys. One, two. Three, four guys. Why four guys? Because we have four beds. We haven't made it that far yet. Outside temperature, inside temperature. I know how cold it is outside, how warm it is inside. The controller for the diesel heater. Cameras outside. There's the control panel for the uh, solar panels out there. There's an eight port USB charger. And a digital voltmeter, so I got 12.3 and two massive car batteries up in the front of this thing. All the wall panels were removed. They had uh, pink insulation thrown in there. And that Owens Corning stuff. Threw that in there. Aluminum foil on the roof. That way it'll deflect some heat. Hooks. You can hang all your jackets, bibs. Tech vest, you can hang everything up right there. As the heat comes out of the pipes, heat rises, will dry your coat off all night long. Two hooks for helmets for that, guys. 
couple here for these guys. To the beds, they're all hooked up and you gotta fit them between the ceiling and that wheel well on the floor because that's not coming out of there. So I did a two by six up the wall, two by six across the top, two by six down the other side, in the middle. Now I have hingeable beds that I've made out of more of the uh, two by fours. Put paneling on them, screwed them all the way around keep everything from falling through. These are the center two by fours in there. Put a bed down. Simply put a two by four up, drop a bolt through it, put the nut on it. It's not rocket science. We're not jumping around. We're not driving down the road with it. It's just got to last while you lay here, flip flop a couple times and call it good. Grab the fish net out of the junkyard from the back of them cars you can put your cell phone chargers sit your phone in it i don't know the book you read before you go to sleep whatever but the beds are actually uh, doggy pillows menards they got the uh, orthopedic ones there at uh, menards nice and soft it's got that uh waffle looking foam to it yeah it's a dog bed so two orthopedic dog beds there's a hundred dollars fifty bucks a piece so it's a hundred dollars every damn bed but if you want to buy the actual bed foam break out more money because it'll cost you even more we talked about the light up there and the light up here same lights that are outside and the same strip lights i call them the loading lights because they're for when i'm loading but if i'm not loading and we're just in here just turn the little light on. You see just fine in here. But for the video we want to see, so we'll turn this back on. Hang another one of those fish nuts from the ceiling. A little extra storage, more blankets, paper towels, whatever you want to put up there. So you're sleeping and uh, I want to get up and go have some coffee, so Here's my foldable table, four chairs, again, four guys. So the table and the chairs come out, and the table and chairs sit back here on the floor. Two chairs over there, two chairs over here. You're sleeping, so what I'm going to do is get up and use my curtain rods here and pull those block-out curtains on both sides. There's two on each side. They'll come across and stop. That way I can sit up here, play on my phone, drink some coffee, because you need 20 more minutes to get your groove on while we're sledding. If you get up and uh, have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, change your clothes, whichever it happens to be, I don't need to see your drawers. So there's another set of curtains there, another set here, because in the back, there's usually a little portable John bathroom sitting right there, so if you got to get up and use the latrine i don't need to see nothing i'll say that uh, i put a rack up on my oil sea foams first aid kit same brackets i use on my helmets i use the same thing to hold extra belts you buy belts all the time off facebook why because everybody's i got 18 dollars into that one Ain't nothing wrong with it. Dude just doesn't sled no more, so he got rid of the sled and it's just sitting around. And I don't know what this one actually was. Yeah, we don't even say how much we had into that one. But, yeah, buy them cheap. Well, the toilet's here, obviously. The toilet paper holder's right there. In case you gotta have some dude wipes. You got a small trash can back here to freshen up with. The floor has seven truck bed liners on it. Your skis and your track, then your skis and your track. So the track will have a step to walk up and the skis can go straight in. Looking at the floor, just like that.
full look at the house. And it's uh, snowmobiling and we're out. It's like 65 degrees in here. I've seen it minus 10 outside and it's still 65 degrees in here. Diesel heater works great. But just in case anything goes on, we always have a propane heat. If you want to use a propane heat. Never going to be without warmth. Outside of that, I think we got everything covered. Just the way I set it up, I can pull uh, five sleds in, two face up in the front, skis in the front. Put the seat over there, put the seat over here, turn one around and back it back in here so the skis are out. Then you can put skis out and skis out again. So I'm getting five sleds in here. Not a problem. Let me know if you uh, have any questions. Quite simple.